Sometimes, you know, these things are not a plan, but then they are very good together. <laughs> request um, having a brief uh, communication, a word of condolence, and uh, I'm not going to invite the person who is going to make this uh, condolence message myself. I'm going to request uh, his colleague, um, 
Honorable Asega to invite uh, the person who is going to make this condolence message. Thank you. As the Amawara Chichiba, Amanopole, Dra Iete and Rossi, the Chande Rua Manidra, Taban Yorele, Udo and Roguni Maniko, Hello, Udo and Roguni Maniko. Ani kuka na baoro kima riani. Lo barati muka kama anje munduti. Ma anje lo barati. Ale ma reveni ndiya. Um, ma i maru asegai. Muzi ni matini. Ama mu muzi ni misi ambamba. Askuni. Muzi o yani baku. Muzi Luigi o yani baku. Suru siko, dini siko, politiki siko. Ere ba dria ii. Ere vini ba zi advice fepi, advice kilili lere fepi ba zi ba nini. Mbodu mudi ni nasi. Mbaro ni ili ajerisi. Ama bi chandi ya zi usuwa ruwa dara. Mavina nyendi, baba ni cho, askari ni cho, bani jivi ni gulua lereke, mavina nyendi. Sama nubuzu gulua risi, bamu anjozi li ya madria, ede muzei, anjoda mzepi ya madria re. Ede muzei, paso pe ili mapasi, onjo mzepi kone. Ama imisibazi mbani Nde isu rovarua We shall live to remember him Angiri mecho ni njeku Te Muzi madra Mafamani eleson Imuzutu alu Azinga zutu alu Anguri zozutu alu Ujata wazidu tuwa lo. Ani sadi simecho sani duwa ngiriko. Let me take this opportunity. To invite. His Excellency. Honorable Robert Chagulanyi. Who is known as Bobby Wine. The son. The son. The son of uh, late Luigi and uh, the one we have been sharing who said he said that he, he said the one who died in Arua in Hotel Pacific and resurrected still in Hotel Pacific to come and say what our report. Ladies and gentlemen, our default. Um, you will pardon me, my voice today is low. Not because I'm weak, but because my heart is broken. Many times we talk about people when we lose them. But again, talking about Zee Chandia is a different thing, ladies and gentlemen. Me, we did not get to know each other for long. I met him only once in my life. We had gone to Arua to campaigns, and he was very good friends with the Honorable Cassiano Wadri. So when 
Honorable Cassiano Wadri, myself, and my brother Asega went to Pacific Hotel. He called me and said, Ah, you man, I am disappointed. How come you are very small? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was him. Was a very humorous man. He said, Come here, my son. Now, I've been hearing so much about you, and I'm surprised you're a young man, but I'm impressed. I'll give you the best room in my hotel. I'll give you what I would call the presidential suit. He said that in a joking way. We got to know each other and we became friends. And if that is and that is the last time we spoke. So we parted ways as friends. And if that was the last time I heard from him, I would be here talking about a friend. But again, ladies and gentlemen, like my brother Asega told you, it is indeed that day that I died, and by the grace of God, I resurrected. It is that day that my driver, Yasin Kauma, was shot dead. It is that day that myself and 33 other people, including my brother Asega, the Honorable Cassiano Wadri, many people, including women, we are rounded up, brutally tortured, some of us thrown on the street, others thrown in jail, and others of us we are not heard from until you put up pressure. When I got out of prison, when I resurrected the following day, I got to learn that the government of Uganda through the police of Uganda, has got, had gotten two machine guns and planted them in the room that Musei Chandia had given me to spend the night. Those machine guns were paraded, and the government said those machine guns were found in my room. I was charged with illegal possession of firearms, and I was remanded in a military prison. That is a time when most people were very scared. That is a time when the government that had failed to murder me in cold blood by the grace of God had decided to at least cover up their evil act by putting a crime on me. But there's only one thing they needed. They needed a witness. <coughs> it was when I was in prison that I learned that very many people were offered money, many accepted it, many were intimidated. But Musei Chandia, as most of you heard, was both intimidated and the government tried to compromise him with money so that he can say that indeed the guns were found in my room. That old man refused. He stood strong amid his intimidation. He refused bribes of hundreds of millions. We don't have so many such people in this country, and that is why we mourn him today. So like I told you, I would have been mourning a friend, but today I am mourning a hero. I am mourning a person that we cannot very easily replace, especially in this time, ladies and gentlemen, when we trade our credibility, even when we trade reality for money, when we keep quiet about the injustices committed against our own people because we are scared. We had people like Musei Chandia, who indeed are human beings, but decided to be brave for the sake of the truth. If that is an anything to us, ladies and gentlemen, it should be a, a, a lesson. A lesson that it is important. The name and memory that we live on this earth. Today, we are mourning him. And we know that because of such a noble act and many other noble acts, he will forever be remembered. It is very, very sad that I did not get 
the time to have a word with him. And when he passed away, I was out of the country. I just came back today. Although I was very tired, I wanted to come and at least meet his family. And tell them that you people, you don't know what your father means to me. That man saved my life even when he did not know me. That man stood with me, with him. He stood with me even when he did not know me. And personally, I will forever celebrate him. So to the family, to the friends, and to the relatives, please accept my heartfelt condolences. There's nothing more that we could do but to continue praying to God that he strengthens the family and indeed rests our father in eternal peace. I thank you very much for listening to me. Our for ladies and gentlemen. of the family honorable we are very grateful for appreciating Muse's efforts for appreciating what Muse did that's what he is and as his children we know him for that and it's good you have recognized what actually we know him for may God bless you thank you and uh, we also want to thank you for the support you've given the family I know it will push us a, 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 a mile away. Thanks a lot. Excuse me.